Massachusetts and Rhode Island are part of a nationwide path made by a man with a mower. And with every blade of grass cut for veterans, the disabled, and others, he hopes to send a message about giving back to your community. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau with this week's Street Story. They admit they don't know the difference between St. Augustine in the south or Fescue in Rhode Island, but they know how to help. Rhode Island is state number 14. Of Rodney Smith's plan to mow at least 50 lawns in 50 states, all in the month of October. So I believe I'm doing what God wants me to do. Dave. Dave. Right, Mr. Dave. Nice R to meet Rodney you. Smith, yeah, I can't do your lawn. David Lambert, diagnosed with a rare blood disorder only weeks ago, was happy to see Rodney Smith unpack the machine from his trunk and go to work on his Coventry yard. I don't know him, he don't know me, and to be able to get this kind of help that I can't do, that I'm not allowed to do, my doctors tell me none of this stuff. I'm just appreciated, very appreciated of it. Smith first pulled the cord on raising men lawn care service a few years back when he saw an elderly man struggling to cut his grass in his home state of Alabama. He volunteered to help and soon realized he could weave a message into the task by mowing for veterans, the elderly, the disabled, and single mothers, while also guiding others to find ways to help their neighbors. All the people we mow for, they probably can't afford it or they can't do it themselves. Taking care of people that, you know, have gone through hard times, uh, it's just a fantastic thing. So when I can come mow for free, they can use those funds for medication, food, and other things they really need. He's already mowed lawns in every state twice in the last two years. And as he cuts through the country in one month this time, he's also partnered with a hero. Are you buckled up, Spuddy? Let's do it. Let's do it! To visit children's hospitals and homes to bring hope to ill and disabled children. I mean, the kids' faces just lit right up. Spider-Man, he just walked up, and the kids started running to him. One, one young lady, she had cerebral palsy. Big smile. It doesn't take that much to give back to their community. Mr. Lumber, you take care of yourself. You too. It's nice, so meeting nice, you. nice meeting you too. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. They're done in New England for this year, but they'll be back. Details about that on WPRI.com. In North Kingstown, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.